I really hate that this thing does that. Anyways, I didn't always have the means to do all this or the know-how or any of the above. So I'm happy if you guys don't have the means to do it or, or whatever. I'm happy to help anybody on any day, really, because I've been there. So, you know, I worked hard for everything I have, so I'm not some spoiled kid. I, I hustled and built a business and earned my way. So, you know, that being said, you know, I've been where I didn't have the means to do this kind of stuff or have this kind of stuff. If, if somebody needs, needs help making a moderator into something like that, contact me. I'll help you. I'll show you how to do it yourself. I'll help you do it. If you don't even have a moderator, I'll either give you an older one that I have and machine the insides for you. It'll be the same thing or we'll just make the whole damn thing. So, uh, you know, I, I, when I have time to do it, because I do have businesses to run, but I, I, will, I will do it. So anybody needs, needs uh, you know, access to equipment to do it or knowledge to do it or whatever, I'm happy to help you guys out. And the, uh, the Pantera rail, I'm going to start making them as soon as this CNC machine comes in. So if any of you guys are, a lot of people ask me about that because I put the dual bottles. Um, I think you guys probably have already seen it if you've seen my other videos, but I'll show it to you real quick if you haven't. Uh, let's see. So this is, this is how I did the rail. That's the original rail, and I have the bottle underneath it, and I can use a bipod. I have a little top Picatinny if I wanted an overboard bipod, which I have put on it, and it, it, the bottle fits, and I still have my, my M-locks on the side. You know, I don't know exactly how useful they would be because the bottle does go up in there a little bit, but I could at the very least put Picatinny's on the side with just clamps. So I know that would work. So it's... Uh, it's pretty good already, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right from here where this bolts in with those three bolts, right? So right from that piece, I'm going to start with those. I'm going to make a whole new one piece and it's going to be, it's going to go cut out to the bottle. It's going to have a round cut out to the bottle, right? And then it's going to be, it's going to be all the way same, start in the same spot, it's going to mount the same way, the two screws going in, the three screws on each side, and then it's going to be rounded for the bottle underneath with M-lock that'll have a little bit of space to put, to put those clamps, or clamps for any other additions you want to put on it, and then it's going to also have a Picatinny at the bottom here, and I don't know, I'm not sure if I'm going to have it go around... I probably will have it go around the shroud over here. It's going to have to be at least this long because this screw is just past the shroud that, hold, that holds this stable. So that screw on the top and there's one on the bottom, they, they hold this end of this stable to the shroud because the, the plenum ends right about here. So that's not optional for stability and because of where the plenum is. So I have to go the same length or, or longer, but I think that length is good. I don't think it needs to be any longer because of the size of the gun. But uh, I think it's, it's a necessity for dual bottles with this gun because you see how fast I'm using air with the, with the settings I have. And my, let's see where my settings are. My, um, my reg is set to, oh, the camera's turning. What is that, 180? Yeah, it's like 180, 185. And, uh, you know, it's got just under 250 in it. I just filled it to 250. That's from one shot. So, I mean, you don't get a whole heck of a lot of shots. And that's with a 580 and a 380. So, or, it, no, that is a 580. I had a 480 on it um, from, from my, from, I think, from my crown. Um, and then I, I put a 580 on it because I ended up with a second, getting a second impact. And I put that 580 on it and got another 700 for that. But I, I would like to put a 700 on the front of this, but I just don't like the bottle clamps. And that's, and I, and I want to keep the rail. And I can't, unless I make a rail that long, which I could do on this machine, it can go four feet. I, I just don't think I want it to be that long, honestly. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, we'll see when I start making them. But 
I'm happy to, uh, to, to make them for anybody that wants them. I'm going to have to obviously charge for them because 6061 aluminum is not cheap and neither was this machine, but I'm not going to charge some crazy price for them. So if anybody's interested, reach out. If anybody's interested in some help with the silencers, reach out. I'm happy to have you guys back and look out for you and help you out. Okay, thanks.